I offer these every week, along with a short teaching. Just click the subscribe link below to be notified through YouTube when I post the recording of the latest one. Or if you'd like to join me live, which I'd really welcome, go down into the description section below and follow the link along to be able to sign up for free. So find a posture that helps you to be comfortable and alert. You might like to loosen your belt, shift in your seat, roll your neck a little bit, whatever works for you. This is an expression of kindness and respect for yourself and kindness and respect for your body. You can have your eyes open or closed. It can help if it's okay for you to find a posture that has a certain dignity in it. Kind of a calm repose. Treating this time with respect. And of course it's fine to adopt any of the classic meditative postures of sitting, standing, walking, or lying down. If it helps you to move from time to time, it's really okay to do that. In this meditation, you can commit to being present. Not in a bossy way with yourself, more like simply surrendering to the present and letting go of anything that would take you away from it. It's the intention to remain simply present, allowing sounds and thoughts and sensations to pass through awareness without carrying you away. In meditation, we explore what it's like to be present with insights into the contrast between being stably present, breath after breath, the contrast between that and the ongoing cascade of thoughts that try to carry us away. And as you remain present, your mind may become quieter and quieter. Can you feel the air flowing in and flowing out?
Can you feel your chest rising and falling as you breathe? As with any suggestion I offer, if there's anything uncomfortable about awareness of your body or breathing in particular, it's fine to adapt my suggestions and help yourself remain aware of of anything that's stable for you, including such as a word or phrase like peace that you might softly think in the back of your mind. If it's okay with you to be aware of your body, you might now widen the field of awareness to your body as a whole. Getting a sense of your body as a whole with many sensations in it. Staying aware of your body and breathing, if that's comfortable for you. You can also be aware of what's kind of floating around in your consciousness, maybe at the surface or just below the surface, particularly any disappointments or frustrations, or a sense of pressure to solve a problem or get something done. And I'm inviting you to stay centered and present in touch with your body while just opening up awareness to see what else is there. And if you do contact any disappointment, frustration, or sense of drivenness, you can be aware of it and welcome it and let it flow. Not getting preoccupied, not carried away by trains of thought, more like surfacing 
whatever might be there, and, and letting it flow. And there may be no sense of disappointment or frustration or drivenness, and that's fine too. We're kind of airing out the mind, like you might air out a dusty closet. Letting some fresh air in and some light. You are acknowledging and accepting any disappointments or frustrations or goal-directed drivenness. You're acknowledging and accepting these, and in that process, kind of airing them out and letting them release, letting them pass away, for now at least. And then alongside whatever you've released, see if you can also explore what else is true, particularly one or more things that you feel thankful for. Not to minimize what's difficult, but to recognize what is also true. What are you thankful for, grateful for? And if you like, you can take the sense of thankfulness and gratitude as your object of meditation. Seeing what it's like to remain steadily aware of for you, genuine feelings of thankfulness and gratitude. You could be aware of some of the many things you've been given in this life, including the gift of a human body and a human life. People who've been generous to you in all kinds of ways, including maybe your ancestors. You might be aware of the gifts of the natural world, beauty of nature,
gifts of wisdom from wisdom traditions. And you might have a sense growing of thankfulness and gratitude more and more pervading your mind, coloring your consciousness as a feeling, an attitude, a perspective in which you receive the next moment arising.
If your mind has wandered, you can bring it back. We're opening, we're receiving genuine feelings of thankfulness in the present. And I'd like to add something else you might want to be aware of, the sense of arriving, the sense of already arriving in the present so that we can relax the subtle sense of chasing the future. Can you find your way into a felt sense of arriving, arriving in this inhalation, arriving in this exhalation, landing now, again and again and again, continuously. And because we've arrived, there can be a sense of relief in it. Turning off the pressure. We've landed. And you can broaden this out into a sense of having arrived in the life you have, arrived in the friendships you have, arrived in the knowledge, the acumen, the skills you have. Whatever you like. You might like to find your way into a peacefulness and a happiness that's available in the sense of having already arrived.
feeling thankful and aware of having already arrived in so many ways, can you let this knowing release stress? Can you let it release any straining, any pressure, any craving, any contraction, released by thankfulness and having already arrived 